Hey friends, it's Christy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would share my Lawn Fawn haul with you guys. Um, this is everything that I picked up from the brand new release and I'm super excited about these products. So I thought I would go ahead and share what I picked up with you guys so you can get an idea of what might be upcoming on my channel and also just see the products up a little bit more in person and um, yeah I'm gonna set everything off to the side and we are going to dive right in so I'm gonna start with a small disclaimer and that is that I am on the lawn fanatics design team and I'm also a lawn fawn blog and YouTube contributor so I do get a little bit of money to spend in their shop for the release um, but I definitely also purchased quite a lot myself because I just couldn't resist. I thought this re release was just so darling. So first up, um, they always send you a little stamp as a thank you gift. This one is a literal thanks. Um, and they put a little note from someone on their team. So this one is from Joy. But you always get one of these little freebies if you order from Lawn Fawn directly, which is super fun. They also had a free with 60 purchase this time. It was automatically added to your cart as long as you spent $60. And it was this one here, which is called Positive Christmas. And it features a cute little kitty and dog in some big stockings with a couple great sentiments. Um, I really love the hope it's positively great to go along with the Merry Christmas. Very, very cute. I do wish that um, they did matching dies. A long time ago they used to do uh, like free with 60 was the stamp set and then if you spent a certain amount more, I can't remember what it was, but you could also get the die set to match. Um, but I guess a lot of people do have like the brother scanning cuts these days and stuff so not everybody buys the dies so maybe it's just not financially um, a good idea for them to do that anymore. I'm not really sure what the purpose of not including matching dies was but I wish we had them but it's not that difficult to fussy cut these. Um, the stocking part especially is pretty straightforward so really fun. Um, I think I'm going to share all my fall products first um, after that freebie and then we'll get into the Christmas stuff. Um, so first up is this um, half size set. This one is called Simply Fall Sentiments. So you get a great mix of like fall and Halloween sentiments that I think are really great. Um, also some of these could be used for more everyday like wishing you a very sweet day that could be going along with um, any of like the fruits or the baking or um, Christmas like the gingerbread cookies that one could go with a lot of different things so that's nice to have a versatile uh, you know sentiment mixed in this you also have so grateful for you and I really like when things get a little nutty because that one goes really well with the uh, Let's Go Nuts stamp set, which is one of my absolute favorites because it's all squirrels, which are my favorite animal. So really, really fun ones in here. I thought that would be nice to have, especially because I like to stamp on the insides of cards. Having extra sentiments is always a good idea. So I also picked up, um, I'm going to do these two together, I guess. I got, let me just shake them down, I got the Fangtastic Friends with these adorable bats and I also got the Fangtastic Friends add-on. Um, so this one just gives you two more bats and another spider, but I also really loved the banners in this set. Um, I thought those would be fun to use for all kinds of different things. I really love this little ta-da! I think that's super cute. So. Um, Color me surprised that I went crazy for this stamp set. Uh, I'm sure I'm not the only one who is probably not a huge fan of bats in real life. And yet in this stamp form, uh, this might be my favorite set of this whole release. I'm not sure. It's probably my favorite fall set anyway. Uh, well, Halloween. But um, they are so dang cute. Like, am I right? These are so adorable. Who would have thought that I would fall in love with bats? Um, not me, but I did. And I, this was the first set that I saw sneak peeked and I was like, oh gosh, I'm in trouble. 
Um, too, too cute. I love them all. I love all their little accessories. I hate spiders. Love these spiders. I mean, I guess in stamp form, it just <laughs> translates differently from real life, right? I don't know. It's There's just something about these guys that I think is just so cute. Um, we've got some great sentiments, and then of course I did get the matching dies as I always do. And then I will move on to the next one. This one is the Absolutely Awesome stamp set. Um, I already have the dies as well, but they are already repackaged as I always do them on my magnetic sheets and stuck in my stamp pockets with my label at the top um, because I've already used this set. And here is the card that I made with that. It is a pull tab. Um, so the little mouse with the apple that he's nibbling on can hide behind the barrel and then peek out. So his little friends are busy picking apples for the harvest and he has snuck into the barrel to have a little snack, cheeky little guy. So um, this one is already up on my channel if you haven't caught that. Uh, this was a lot of fun to create. So there is that one. Next up for fall, this is my last fall stamp set, is the Simply Celebrate Fall. Um, I just really liked, especially the row of pumpkins. I can see using that a lot to create like a pumpkin patch. And, you know, there's other different Lawn Fawn pumpkins as well that you could mix and match with it. But having like the whole row, can you imagine like sticking the, um, oh, what's the Critter Stamp set that came out in the last release? There's so many sets now that I can't always remember the names off the top of my head. But the ones with all the critters and then the speech bubble above, there's the dogs, cats, mice, um, there's something else, bunnies. I feel like there's five and I'm missing one. But anyway, can you imagine like sticking them behind this row, like the little kitties behind this row of pumpkins? Probably shouldn't have given away my idea. But <laughs> anyway, there you go. Um, I think that would be so super cute. And then all of these other images are really fun too. And these are also really great for stamping on the inside of a card as like a little detail to bring the front of your card to the inside without taking up too much room. If you're someone who likes to write a long message, you could just put one of these down at the bottom of the scene with a, a small sentiment or just a, a strip sentiment like this, and you still have plenty of room to write your message. So I went ahead and grabbed that, and that concludes fall. So I'm going to jump into winter next. So I got the snow one like you, which is really, really cute. I don't know. Has anyone else been missing the winter critters that Lawn Fawn used to do? They used to always do like winter bunny, winter fox, winter alpaca, winter unicorn, winter penguin. There were like a whole bunch of them and every winter they would release one. And I think last year was the first time that we did not get a winter critter. I don't know if they just... Um, decided to retire that idea or whatever but this kind of reminds me of those they were always a mini and you got basically one image maybe a couple tiny images and then a sentiment so this kind of reminds me of that uh, especially because it kind of gives a nod the very first one ever of the winter critters was winter bunny and um, this one has the little bunny and then he has a bear and they are sledding and winter bunny was sledding but he was going this way. So um, it's kind of like a nod to that. I don't know if it's meant to be, but that's the way I'm taking it. Um, and so I was really happy to see that. And I think that is a really adorable image. And then you've got the there's snow one like you sentiment. Great for any kind of winter cards. I also could not resist the new ugly and bright with all of these adorable Christmas sweaters. I think they're super fun. This is a really creative idea from Lawn Fawn. You've got the three critters, but I'm willing to bet that some of these sweaters might fit on some other critters if you kind of go through your stash and see. They'd have to be ones that are 
facing forward so like the party animals those come to mind I'm not sure I haven't tested them out because this literally just arrived yesterday and I wanted to do the haul video right away so I haven't tested it out but I'd be willing to bet that there are other critters that you could get these to fit and if not, um, you at least get these three guys. You get a fox, a bear, and a deer. And then you have four, uh, five different sweaters that have designs on them already. And then one plain sweater that you could decorate yourself. So you could take like this candy cane and you could put that in the middle. Or you could take some snowflakes from a different set um, like this one. And you could put snowflakes on it. You could draw your own design with a white gel pen after you've colored it, or you can even color it with a unique pattern with your Copics, or, um, you can borrow like any kind of tiny images from any of the other Lawn Fawn sets and just kind of create your own fun sweaters. I'm really excited to see how creative people get with this one. I think it's going to be really fun. And I just think the sentiments are hilarious. Eat, drink, and be tacky. That is so funny. And may your sweaters be ugly and bright. I mean, come on. That's perfect. Um, you also have a bunch of little tiny sentiments that probably fit in some of them. I don't know. The Happy Hanukkah might be a little bit too long. And probably the Fa la 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 is probably too long, but the let's party I think would definitely fit there. Um, the ho ho ho, you might have to, um, you know, like mask it and do it like separately and not in a strip or whatever. We'll see. Um, I'm going to play around with this one and see what I can come up with, but I think this is really, really fun and this was one of the ones that I was also, as soon as I saw the previews, I was like, that is going to be in my shopping cart, no question. All right, so next up is probably my favorite winter set of the release, and that is the Snowball Fight. I know that um, some people are not huge fans of the mice. I think more people are, though, which is obviously why Long Fawn keeps doing them. I'm a huge fan of the mice. I think mice are so much fun to color. Um, I've mentioned this lots of times, but bunnies, mice, also dogs and cats, but any of those critters that come in so many different color patterns and color varieties are so much fun to color because you can make them different every time. You don't just have to color it as a brown mouse or a gray mouse. You can do little patches and, um, you know, different, different colors. So I think the mice are really fun and I was really excited about this one. I love the mouse snowmen. I love seeing them in action in their little snowball fight with the little snowballs zooming across and little motions behind them. You've got a pile of snowballs and an ice fort and a little flag. Um, I, I adore it. I think it's so, so sweet and I... This is going to be the one of the ones that I just am very excited to play with, and I am not in any rush for winter to get here. Do not get me wrong. I am clinging to the last days of summer with my fingernails. Like, summer is my favorite season. I also love fall, but where I live, fall is extremely short, and then winter just blows in. Winter is my least favorite season, but stuff like this makes it a little bit... Uh, less sucky that it's on its way. <laughs> so at least I can get, look forward to like digging into cute stamps. So uh, the other set that I got, this is the last stamp set that I picked up from this release, is the Beachy Christmas, which I adore. I don't know what it is. I used to be like so anti the tropical Christmas stuff. Like Santa on a surfboard or with board shorts or I don't know why I just I'm so traditional that it used to really bother me um, in like not in stamps but like ornaments or I don't know just patterns and stuff but I don't know I have changed my mind in the last couple years and come to embrace it and now I like am all all in. I think this set is just so fun. I love his Hawaiian shirt. I love the palm tree with the lights strung around it. 
the little uh, sand castle with the lights, genius. The pineapple gift, you got a shell gift, so much fun. And Santa can have a tropical drink. And then you have lots of fun sentiments. And I think this is great for anybody who lives down south and doesn't get to experience winters the way that, that we do. Um, or, you know, in like Australia when they have like, <laughs> it's like the top, the hottest point at Christmas time, um, you know, any any place like that, um, this is going to be really appropriate for somebody like that. So if you have family that lives down there or if you live there yourself, um, I think this is a great set to pick up. I am very excited about it now. Um, okay, so moving on to some dies, I got the Build a Barrel Apple and I've already repackaged this one. Um, I stuck it on my sheet with my strawberry patch dies. I did half and half. I like to utilize as much as my sheet as I can. Um, so if more than one set fits on there, then I will gladly do that. Um, I've repackaged this one because I have used this die set already. I can't share the card with you because it's going to be on the Lawn Fawn YouTube channel coming up. And so I don't want to give that away. But... It is coming, and I had a lot of fun playing with this die set, the Build a Barrel Apple. I was really glad to get this barrel, because I think that'll be fun for a lot of different things. All right, so another die set I got was the Full Moon, mainly for this large uh, moon. I love the little crater detail that gets embossed into it. So I think that's going to be fun, not only for Halloween cards, but I think this would work really great with any of the outer space cards like um, uh, Out of This World and I think is Beam Me Up, the one with the aliens. And I believe there's like three. Isn't there three outer space cards? Uh, not cards. <laughs> um, stamp sets from Lawn Fawn. So I thought that would be fun for those. I've even done like, I've used Swan Soiree and I've done the two swans in front of like a low hanging mood for um, an anniversary card. So even something like that would be, you know, great for that. So this is definitely more than just a Halloween die set. So I'm excited to play with that and see how I can use it. I'm sure your big question <laughs> is did I get the peekaboo pop-up dies? And the answer is, yes, I did. Um, I normally don't go that much for the interactive dies. I just don't like creating interactive cards that much. It's a lot of pressure to uh, get it right. And, you know, when they don't work out right, sometimes um, it just really, I don't know what it is. It makes me feel... Uh, incompetent and I don't like feeling that way I'd rather just color things and make a nice card and not worry about it being interactive but I watched the videos using this one and it looked super easy and so I went ahead and bit the bullet so there are some interactive dies that I really enjoy I do really love the magic iris and all of its add-ons that one I've never struggled to use um, I don't know I guess there's another um, interactive die that I bought. I can't remember what it's called. It's been out for a few years, and I to this day I've never even used it. I'm so intimidated <laughs> by it, which is terrible. I should use it. I should use it, but I just, I don't know. Um, when I have to crank out as many cards as I do constantly, um, I just, like, I don't want to end up in frustration. Also, often my time is limited because um, I usually have to take my son to work at a certain time or whatever, so I only have a certain amount of time in the day to film, and um, I just, you know, anything like that, it takes more time, and I just tend to just gravitate more towards the simpler cards. But, like I said, this one, I watched the videos closely, paid attention, and this one just looks super easy to use. It really doesn't look very much more difficult to put together than a regular card. So I went ahead and got this. So definitely stay tuned for videos using this one and seeing how I can create some fun cards with it with that little interactive feature that it's got going on. 
All right, so I also picked up a couple of stencils. The first one I got was the Nighttime Sky stencil. I thought this would be great with that large moon in case I didn't want to use the die if I want something different. Um, I thought that would be nice to have. I also really like the detail that you can put the little craters in the moon in the two different sizes here. You also have the masks. You can do the moon and then mask it off and then do your sky, or you could just mask off your moon, um, do the sky, and then line the stencil back up over where the negative space was, and then do your moon after, however you want to do it. And there's also some fun clouds and some little sparkle marks. Hopefully you can see that on camera. It's a little bit of a hard to see, but anyway, really excited to play with that. And then also I had to get the birch tree stencils, which I don't think they did a video on this one yet, but now that I'm looking at it, it looks like you also get, do you also, okay, I'm sorry. I don't usually like to look, open these things up on camera because it's, that noise bothers some people that, you know, but it looks like, oh yeah, it is a two-part stencil. Oh yeah, it is. So it actually lines up perfectly. So you could mask off again um, your trees if you wanted to, or you can just shift it and get different trees by layering it up. So that's really cool. I, I did not know that this was a two-part stencil. I just adore birch trees. It's one of my absolute favorite trees. And... Um, uh, once I saw that it was birch trees, I was like, yes, please, I will take those because I love them. So that's going to be really fun to play around with and play, create all kinds of cards. All right, so last up is the pattern paper, and I did get both paper pads. I got the Let It Shine Starry Skies and the Knit Picky Winter. So we'll go through this one first. This one has gold foil detail on it. I think this is Lawn Fawn's first time ever doing that, right? I'm pretty sure. Um, and it is stunning. Um, a lot of times I don't go for gold foil paper because I find it can be hard to use on simpler cards. Um, but I think this one is so beautiful. And I don't know why I'm a sucker for constellations. Ever since grade school and visiting the planetarium like I've always been kind of obsessed with the stars and the constellations so I just think that is beautiful um, and then so you get a gold foil and then you just get a, a white one with the stars this one is not foiled so that's nice if you don't want to use the foiling all the time you also have the plain option which is great so I love the color variety that they gave in this one. There's like the turquoise, and then there's more of like a cornflower blue. There's the cream, which is beautiful. This one is like a dusty gray with like a purple undertone. It's like a, you know, a blue-toned gray, which I think is lovely. And then there's the regular one. There's also white. With the white has gray stars on it. And then this stunning navy blue, which has got to be my favorite. And then it repeats. So you get three of each shade, I believe. Yep, three of each shade. So love this, love this, love this so much. I, I love this color palette. In fact, I would love to use this entire color palette as inspiration for a winter card. I think these colors look gorgeous together. And then we have the Knit Picky, which is going to be so much fun for Christmas and winter. Um, this one has the sweater theme, which will go great with ugly and bright. So you get the larger pattern with like the Fair Isle sweater with the snowflake print. And then you get like the Knit knitted print there so we have red pink we have a, like a soft lime green there's an aqua like a bright french blue and then we have like a beige and then that one repeats 
So two of every print in that one as well. Oh, darn it. Oh, mine came all damaged. Do you see that? That stinks. Well, that's all right. Anyway, um, usually I end up using, um, doing standard size cards anyway, so I'll have to just like trim off that side um, when I make my cards and probably won't be able to use. I just saw that they're like, it's most of the paper pad actually. And you know what? I know that if I email Lawn Fawn, they would probably make it right and send me a new one, but I don't know. They've got a lot going on with that release right now. Maybe I'll do that in the future, but for now I'll be fine and I will just use what I can of it. There's still plenty of usable paper, you know, on the right side. So that is everything that I picked up from this Lawn Fawn release. Definitely leave me a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite thing was from this release. What was your must have, like gotta have it most um, irresistible product that you saw in this release and then also tell me what is your favorite of the things that I picked up so that I can maybe bump it to the top of the list and create something with it sooner rather than later so so much fun I can't wait to repackage this get everything all labeled all my dies trimmed apart and everything so that everything is all nice and organized I get so geeky about organizing my products um, because then I feel like I'm ready to play once everything is like repackaged and you know all organized neatly in my bins I just feel so inspired to flip through and start coming up with ideas so um, by the way I am still planning on making a video on how I come up with my card ideas that was highly requested on my channel I've just been so busy with new releases for the Hello Bluebird and um, I'm also having some travel days coming up that I have to like work ahead on actual assignments first. So, you know, the videos that are just for my own channel and not for somebody else, you know, not uh, for a design team project. Um, they always kind of get pushed to the back burner, but it is coming. I've been thinking hard about it. I've got a whole list of stuff that I want to incorporate into that video. So stay tuned for that. It might take a little bit still to get to it, but um, it's coming. Okay. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you were excited about this release as I am. And I will talk to you guys in another video soon. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.